Alright, good morning, man. Uh, welcome back to another vlog, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, basically, if y'all could tell in the recent videos in the New Year's Eve vlog, in the New Year's vlog, like, I've been sounding like I'm sick. And my eye, my eye should be fucking with me. Uh, so I just dropped my son off at daycare because his daycare opened back up today. And now I'm finna head in to uh, take a COVID test before I go to work. Like, my chest and shit been hurting me. And I had COVID three times. So, like, I know when I feel like I got COVID, I just feel like I got it. Like, I didn't try to jinx me, but I just know my body. And I got three kids, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I want to be on the safe side, you feel me? <clears throat> and then, you know, I don't want nobody from work to end up catching it or everybody else that's in the household type shit. So, but good morning, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether I got COVID or not, I got a cold for sure. And uh, that ain't going to stop the grind, though, man. If you're new to the channel, go to smash the subscribe button. Click that bell to be notified when I upload a video. Follow me on all my social media, man. Links in the description down below. Hey, we running it up all 2023. I told y'all. Uh... I'm dropping every day, man. I meant that I'm being, you know what I'm saying? I'm being a man of my word. Um, <clears throat> y'all just, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just bear with me with the vlogs because, you know, uh, I got to get used to that vlogging lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I, I did vlogs here and there, but not like on the daily. And I want to start doing vlogs on the daily type stuff. You know, of course, every day, I'm going to try to make every vlog, you know, lit and funny as possible. But, <clears throat> you know, in reality, every day, they probably just won't be extremely, extremely lit. But you know what I'm saying? We're going to make sure we get some little lit shit in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm right here on my way, headed to the doctor, man, so I can take this COVID test, bro. I feel like shit, but like I said, we, we you know, no excuses this year. No excuses about nothing, you know what I'm saying? We getting it done. <coughs> we getting it done for sure, like... That's it. No ill saying bust about it, man. So y'all just stay tuned. Good morning. Everybody have a good week. You know what I'm saying? Prepare yourself for what's ahead of you. Uh, don't start this week off with, uh, I got to go to work. I want to go to work. Uh, nah, you know what I'm saying? Get happy. Get energetic. You feel me? You're making your money. It's just temporary. Keep doing what you're doing until keep working. Until whatever you're doing as a side hustle, pop off. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. <laughs> And never lose uh, faith, never lose hope, never give up. No matter how rough it get, how tough it get. I'm telling y'all, I know. <clears throat> like, when I when, when I drop out a documentary, y'all can be like, damn, I would have never thought that him, like, they was going through that type of shit because, you know what I'm saying, how positive I always try to be. But, yeah, behind closed doors, this shit can break you all the way down, man. But... <clears throat> <clears throat> Hell yeah, uh, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much longer though, man, so y'all just stay tuned, I'm late to like probably like three minutes from the doctor, so once I check in, I'll be tapping back in, man. So I'm at the doctor, man, uh, it's been a little minute, you know what I'm saying, insurance and everything was messing up, but we finally in the back, they just tested me for flu, flu and COVID, the nurse said my oxygen level was real, real low. And uh, so they probably was gonna give me a breathing treatment because I do got asthma and um, the downside effect, she was like, she asked me about smoke. Everybody know I do smoke. I've been smoking for a long time, but she said it's probably like my oxygen real low because me smoking, but it's been fucking with my lungs and then I already got asthma. So worst case scenario, bad news is your boy probably gonna have to start smoking for good because my health way more important than just, you know what I'm saying, getting a high or whatever and I really can't breathe and shit like I'm trying to, y'all see how I keep stopping, I'm trying to get air and shit just so I can <clears throat> talk and shit, but y'all just stay tuned, man, uh, we just waiting on, on the results and they see if they're going to give me a breathing treatment at night, and uh, then I'm going to turn back on the camera and let y'all know how it is, man, but yeah, your health is always important, man, don't never let nothing affect your health and don't do nothing, you know, if your doctor tell you to stop doing something or it could really critically hurt you, then go on and just stop doing it, man. But y'all just stay tuned. Hey, what up, man? So, um, I'm basically just finishing up the video that I started yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Um, the vlog, as y'all can tell, I'm still sick, breathing, still horrible and shit. And uh, I also found out yesterday I couldn't smoke no more. So once I get my breathing and stuff back in control, um, 
My mama don't want me to because they saying I'm really taking a risk, but I want to do my last hot boxing video, you know, to, um, you know, yeah, the last hot boxing yeah, finale, you know what I'm saying? And um, then after that, I won't be able to smoke no more. Uh, so, I really, well, in that video, I really want to explain. Well, I probably won't even get to that video because how I'm feeling right now, like, I'm really scared to even want to try to risk it and, and, and make that video. And then I end up in the hospital for real in the ICU or something because my breathing, like, I got real bad, severe asthma, you know what I'm saying? And, um, all the smoke from all over these years since I've been smoking. Um, I guess finally catching up with me. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to try not to cry, but really, is I wouldn't say that I'm addicted to smoking. It's just I really smoke to just, like, help me cope with shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm high, uh... I don't be thinking about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just be feeling good, you know? Like, I be relaxed and everything like that. And, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's just going to be challenging, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard. Uh, I've been telling guy that I was going to stop smoking, and I just kept procrastinating about it, so... He just, you know what I'm saying, making it a way for why I can really stop smoking. But I'm really emotional this morning, man, because like I said, I'm sick as fuck. Can barely breathe. Can't smoke on top of that. Then it's like, damn, bro. Like, when I go back and look at all my old videos, like when I started five years ago, it's just like, oh, no. Like, I don't know, like, I know I came too far, you know what I'm saying, to uh to give up and shit. And over the years, as I got older with doing YouTube, uh, see, me, I'm the type of person, like, <clears throat> fuck. I get, um, I lose more motivation real quick, you know what I'm saying, like, my motivation span is so small, like, I can motivate myself for, like, a period of time, but it's like, I'm so impatient where, like, as y'all, if you go back on my channel and you look, over the years, uh, you would see why I was grinding hard for like a month, two, three months. I was progressing, but I would start losing hope and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I would start losing hope, and I would start losing faith and everything. And so I would just stop, you know. Uh, I'd have had so many MacBooks. I'd have had so many cameras. But I always end up selling it because I lose, I lose motivation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just every time I try to give up, though, like God just steer me back to YouTube. And so uh, I don't know, man. It's just really been hard. Like I just basically with y'all sitting down on camera. This how I be every night. That's why <clears throat> I like to smoke because when I get the feeling like this I can smoke play some play some calm music read my manifestation book then I got a vision board so I can look at my vision board to uh, motivate me now and I got my book that I read so that I wouldn't get so emotional because it's just like, but like nobody know how hard I really want this shit bro like it is not even just for me like it's for my kids it's for my family like i put so much stress on myself because i'm trying to like 
get everybody to just believe in me, man. You know, and I know it's hard because, of course, everybody not gonna believe in you. You know, it's just the reality. But it's just like, fuck, bro. Like I'm so talented, and I make so many, so many good ass videos. And it's just like, damn, like how many got a flop, bro? Like. I really got more than 272 videos. I tried a couple channels twice with two of my baby mamas. And uh, all those videos got deleted. You know what I'm saying? I deleted all those videos. And I wish I would have kept them so that y'all would have seen, like, how when I say I was really, like, and grinding, grinding, like, just fucked up, grinding, like, real, real bad. And anyways, just yeah, so... When I tried the couple channel thing, uh, with my first baby mama, you know what I'm saying? It was fun, you know, it was experiencing everything like that. And, uh, I used to always promise her shit. You know, I would always tell her, you know, just keep believing me, keep going, you know, stay, don't give up, you know, come on, let's keep pushing, let's keep pushing. Like, it would be days I would want to record and she wouldn't want to record type shit. And so that's why, uh, for the old people that used to know, that's why it went from my my first original YouTube name was One Two Five Six TV. Let me show y'all real quick. When I first first made my channel, this was in two thousand eighteen, I believe two thousand seventeen, going into eighteen. It was One Two Five Six TV. Y'all see that? One Two Five Six TV. I had one hundred fifty nine subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And I go back and look at stuff like this because I be like, it's all right, bro. Like, you're going to be good. Like, you're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, look how far you came. I started with nothing. Like, I got a little buzz in my city, but me, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really too friendly. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm, I don't be in everybody's face. I ain't in everybody likes. I ain't in everybody comments. I ain't in everybody shares. You feel me? So it's like, I want one of the popular ones. Like, everything I got, I got it out the mud from zero. From every whatever every follower I got on any social media, it started from zero. It wasn't no I already had buzz on this platform and I just had to tell people to come follow me over here and they follow me. I wasn't like that. Everything came from the mud, out the fucking mud. Like my first baby well, this is my my second baby mama, the one I first started the YouTube channel shit with. Uh she could tell y'all, like I cried to her so many nights. And then my third baby mama, she could tell you like I I cried to her so many nights. You know what I'm saying? It's like both of them. I'm not gonna lie, like they really fucked me up because it's like they both said some hurtful shit, like saying that I ain't gonna never make it, and I've been trying since 2014, 2016. I still ain't went nowhere, still ain't blew up, and I just be like, damn, like y'all was motherfuckers that I really wanted to succeed with. You feel me? Like I used to cry to y'all. If y'all to throw this shit back up in my face, like, it's just, like, it just be so much that just be fucking coming to me, bro. Like, it's just, I just want to show them so fucking bad, like, but that's what the fuck y'all get for, for, for downing me, bro. Now, now, now look at me. And it's like, I hate to say it because they probably gonna look at this video and laugh, but it's like, damn, they right. Like, I've been doing this shit since 2016 and... Like nothing. It's like nothing. Like I done tried everything. I tried doing reaction videos. Every fucking video I did either got copyrighted or blocked. Tried doing the pranks. I was doing dumb, stupid, viral ass pranks, bro. And no fucking prank went viral. And nothing. So I started doing gaming a little bit. The gaming wasn't working. And it's just like, man, what the fuck? Like, I want this shit so bad. And every time I try to quit, God just always throw me signs that I need to keep going. But it's just like, what the fuck do I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I try with a new channel? But then it's probably going to do shit, but push me back five more years. Or do I just keep on uploading or do I... Just, I don't know, man. Like, it just really just... It really just be frustrating. That's why I always tell y'all. Like, y'all really don't be knowing, like, what I really be going through inside me. Like, I'm not going to even lie. If it wasn't for my kids, like, I probably would have been killed myself.
like to be a hundred with y'all like the pressure I put myself under and to know that it's like really don't nobody see or don't nobody really know me like that shit really hurt for real for real you know what I'm saying like I said bro I do this YouTube shit and I take it to the fucking heart like I do this shit not just for me, for my kids <clears throat> and for my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to move my mama. She always had a dream about this big old house. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to surprise her with it so bad. Like, but it's like, fuck, man. Like, what can I do? I started a detailing business. Started, tried to bring that to YouTube. It started off good. And then out of nowhere, boom, I just, everything disappeared. <laughs> I wasn't hearing from people no more. People was making appointments, counseling them. When nobody come in, uh, yeah, like I said, they was making appointments, counseling them, or saying they gonna shop, don't shop. Then I fuck around, get on social media, I seen they done went to another motherfucker. Uh, <clears throat> homeboys and friends that claim they fuck with me, claiming they gonna bring me their car, then turn around the next day, they done took it somewhere else. And I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, that's why I just wanna move, bro. Like, I just wanna get away from this city, like, I hate to say, but I fucking hate Huntsville. Like, I hate Huntsville, Alabama. Like, bro, like, I hate this city, bro. Like, this is a crap in the bucket ass city, bro. Like, when I tell y'all, I never seen a city that hate so fucking bad, bro. Like, I never seen that shit. Like, I never, ever, 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 ever fucking seen it. Like, yeah, you got other cities that hate and shit, but the hate down here in my city is so fucking real, bro. Like, <sighs> If you got a chance to get out, get out. Basically, this is basically how it is, bro. Living in Huntsville, you got a chance to get out, get out, bro. If you type in on Google, what celebrities came from Huntsville, Alabama? Bro, we ain't got shit. <laughs> we ain't got no YouTubers. We ain't got no famous TikTokers. We ain't got no famous uh, music stars in Huntsville. <laughs> only one, only a couple that I know that's on the rise is my cousin Yonte, Thule, and I don't really be in anybody mix, so I'm not them. The them the only two that I know, you know, that I know. It's probably a couple more, but I don't know them. Them the only two I know that's really like heavy with that music shit and really like and Blur Brothers. Blur Brothers was doing it too, you know. what I'm saying Blur Brothers, Yante and Tuli. Them the only three. But far as like content creators and influencers and shit, <laughs> bro, we ain't got shit. <laughs> we ain't got nobody. You feel me? Like, people be like, oh, start collabing with other people. Who the fuck can I collab with? You feel me? Don't nobody die here want to do that. Don't nobody die here want to do no shit like that. You feel me? Like, ain't nobody really trying to help me push this shit, bro. Like, and that's why it be making me so mad. Because it's just like, bro, like, I want to get the fuck out, bro. Like, I just want to move. Like, I've been wanting to move from Huntsville, Alabama since I was in fucking, since I fucking graduated high school. Like, I just want to fucking move, bro. I want to go somewhere where... It's, it's nothing but motivation. You know what I'm saying? People going to push me. People going people gonna to make sure that I'm working my ass off no matter what. Like, even if I start uh, feeling discomfort in myself, and you know what I'm saying, and, and I start slacking off and lazing up, they going to push me like, hell no, nah, nigga, get the fuck up. Like, I see this shit on YouTube daily, bro. Man, motherfuckers from, that's close in Alabama, but in different cities, bro, they be on they people's ass, making sure they upload. Just yesterday... I was watching, uh, it was DDG Lil' Sister, I think it's her boyfriend, I forgot his name, I can't think of his channel name, but he was surprising, uh, Silly 2 with a challenger, and he was showing him his Corvette, and he was like, nigga, you can have this, all you gotta do is upload more, you feel me, like, motivation like that, like, bro, around here, <laughs> it ain't no motivation like that, like, yeah, I got my people in my corner, that tell me, you know what I'm saying, keep going, nigga, don't give up, the fuck you came too far to do, that's it. But I'm talking about, but they not doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? They just motivated me to keep going to open up the doors. But ain't nobody really doing what I'm doing that I can link up with and we can really push this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I said, it's sad to say, but I, I just hate my city, man. Like, I hate my city. Like, I just be like, why the fuck was I born here? Like, why I couldn't be born nowhere else? You feel me? Like, that should just be, it just be fucking with me, bro. Like I told y'all, I was uploading. I'm uploading every day this year, so 
Some videos y'all gonna see happy videos. Some of the videos y'all might see me crying just like now because I'm I'm going through a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? There's so much other shit that I'm not speaking on because I'm gonna wait for the perfect the perfect moment. Well, there ain't no such thing as perfect moment, but I'm gonna wait for the the timing. You know what I'm saying? To speak on all that because it's all gonna line up. But yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Then it be famous people watching my shit, and it's like, bro, y'all see me. Basically screaming for help, not even helping me, but like you feel me, like tell these motherfuckers in my city to to do what I'm doing. You feel me, like God damn, like y'all motherfuckers just watching me. Y'all ain't sending a nigga no encouraging words. Hey, my nigga, keep going. You know what I'm saying? You doing your thing, keep popping. I see you. I salute you. Y'all motherfuckers just be watching me and keep on going, and I'm like, bro, why the fuck is y'all still watching me but not saying shit? You feel me? Like, I got so many screenshots of people watching my shit. But, <laughs> they, like, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I can't give up. I won't give up because I, I, I got a family to still go hard for. I got three babies. They need me. I'm all they got. You know what I'm saying? So I never give up. One day, some gonna hit. Some gonna go viral, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying to think of... I, I had put together a whole skit. Let me show y'all on TikTok. I put together a whole skit, right? And I, and, I, and I told my brothers, I told my homeboys, I'm like, bro, this skit hit. That mean we need to push that shit. And guess what? After that first skit we did, that motherfucker got 45.9K... On TikTok, that first video right there that's pinned. Y'all see that? 45.9K. And we ain't made a part two yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, the motherfucker, like, they don't, like, ain't nobody serious with this shit, bro. And they be pissing me off. Like, my siblings can tell y'all, like, when I be coming to them, trying to include them in my YouTube shit, and then they take forever to respond, or they be like, yeah, we could do it. But then when it's time to do it, and, they, and then it get excuses and shit get to coming up, like, bro, like, this shit be pissing me off. Cause it's like, bro, like y'all really don't know how much this shit mean to me, bro. And it's like, don't nobody like. It's like, damn, like, is anybody fucking listening? Like, am I, am I fucking dead? Am I alive? Like, hello, am I a ghost? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh no, bro. Like, this shit just be blowing me, man. Then, like I said, it's worse now because I can't smoke no more due to my health, and I'm damn sure not finna risk my life over a fucking blunt. You know what I'm saying? And leave my three babies down here. Fuck no, like that. I... Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like fucking working for nobody. Ever since I left Polaris, I don't like working. I had a job at Amazon. I was only there for a month. I quit that motherfucker. Because it was pointless of me being there. The job I'm at now is straight. It's decent money. But it's like, I walk in that bitch every day. Like, why the fuck am I wasting my time, bro? Like, why am I here for? You feel me? And um, I just can't go broke, you feel me? Because I got three kids take care of, still got bills. And I'm not finna be no dumbass and try to do shit the illegal way. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I got kids. And I ain't finna risk that to try to jump and get some fast street money when they ain't gonna lead to shit but the grave or a cell. <laughs> but, man, I don't know, man. Y'all just pray for me. Um... Uh, Hit me up on my Instagram with any ideas that y'all think I could do. Um, I done watched tips on videos of how to try to go viral, or how to get views, how to get subscribers. I done bought books and shit. And it's like all of it is the same shit. Like all of it is the same shit, bro. So to be honest, I'm going to tell you, bro. Don't buy no fucking YouTube book that say how to get this and how to get that and how to get that. Because now what I realize... People's shit is different. All you got to do is make sure your thumbnails A1. You got good titles. You promote the fuck out this shit and just keep believing, having hope and faith. And one day, it'll it'll do it. This is it. But don't spend your money on promos. I don't, I don't, I don't pay for penny promos. I can show y'all right now. I don't pay for penny promos. <laughs> And this not even like saying that they scam me type shit, but it's just like when I thought when I thought you get promos, I'm thinking it's like on some shit. 
Is this the page? So look, this was still when I was one two five six TV. Uh, and I was at two hundred eighty subscribers. I had got a promo from uh, Neek. I had got a promo from Neek. Y'all see it? Oh shit! This Neek, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga used to respond to me and everything like i used to talk to her like we was like siblings i used to tell her happy birthday merry christmas all type of shit she'd be like yes thank you do 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 <clears throat> okay so that was neek uh who was i i had got one from gilly or was it trey no i believe it was gilly So yeah, this one I got the promo from uh, Gilly. Y'all see right there, he told me it was 65. Do them doing my sent the money, whatever. Take your promo. And I had got like uh two of them from Carmen. Them. It was a video promo where they shot me out in the video, like on one of their YouTube videos. So yeah, I, I got a uh, video shout out from them, May 13, 2020. This one we was talking about it. And then, you know, we paid and everything. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, she was like, video drops at seven o'clock. I'm like, okay, appreciate it. Uh, who else? I did Carmen Gilly, Nick. Oh, Funny Mike. I got some promos from Funny Mike. But uh, you had to go through Shot by DeMarcus TV. Like, like I'm really showing y'all this shit, so y'all won't, so y'all won't get the hollering, bro. Just do this, bro. Just do that, bro. Just do this, bro. Do pay for promos, pay for shout outs, bro. I was doing that shit, bro. That shit don't work. Look at it. Look, this me sending the money and shit. Like, this is the stamps, bro. Like, you feel me? That, that was for the Funny Mike promo. And I did that like three times. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I did a Funny Mike promo three times. Uh, I did Carmen them twice. I did Neek once. I did Gilly once. Uh, OMG DJ. I don't know if y'all know him a lot. Because he was, he was like uh, from back in the day type shit. I don't even think he got an Instagram no more. But OMG DJ. Um... Uh, and then I had did one from uh what's what was that light skinned ass nigga name they used to be with them? When it was on when it was DJ, uh all of them in Georgia. Uh RJ. Is she still on here? I don't think I know his Instagram, but he played me on mine. He played me on my uh promo. The RJ did dude. RJ dude did. He uh I paid for a video promo, but then nigga did it as a fucking uh, YouTube comment shit or whatever. And then later on, he eventually went back and fixed it. So, yeah, basically, as y'all see, like, bro, the promo shit don't work. Like, and then the book that I just bought from Kiana, let me show y'all that. 
the YouTube book that I had just bought from Keanu, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm investing to see see what good it is. See if it really, you feel me, going to do some shit. <laughs> here got my book right here. If it load up. I don't know why this shit not loading up. Anyway, the book not loading up, but yeah, I had ordered her book. And I read the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? She said some some good pointers in there, you know what I'm saying? But still, at the same time, it was shit that I've been hearing off free YouTube videos. Make sure your thumbnails on point. Make sure your title's good. Make sure you're doing tags. Make sure you're doing hashtags. I mean, it's it's the same shit we always hear. So so it's like, what now? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I said I don't understand it, bro. Like when I be telling you, I really put blood, sweat, and tears into this YouTube shit. Like I really did that. I really do that still to this day. Like I probably spent over ten thousand dollars in five years. Just this just for editing. Uh, promos, thumbnails, <laughs> all this shit, man. So, I don't know, but like I said, y'all just pray for me. I'm still sick as fuck. Breathing still fucked up. Might end up going to the hospital later on. My mama get off work so that she can uh be with the kids for me. Hakeem don't go back to school till Friday, which is stupid. But Ali and Juju, Juju went back yesterday. Ali went back today. Um, go check out all the recent videos I uploaded, all my pranks, all the hot boxing videos. I don't know if that last hot boxing video gonna get done tonight, just cause the way I'm feeling, and I ain't trying to experience this again. You know, just by trying to do a final hot boxing video. Um, I don't know, man. Like I said, I just want to come vent to y'all, man. Because one thing I ain't going to do is give up. But the shit is stressful and depressing. When all you want to do is just show people, you know what I'm saying, that you talented, you got what it takes, and you are somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but there's so many of us that get overlooked. And this in the music industry everywhere. There's so many of us that get overlooked. And, uh, like my mama even told me one day, like it's a it's a it's a it's a famous person that my mama do not like at all, and she was like, I don't understand how he's so rich and famous. And all he do is yell in his videos, <laughs> like she be like, your video is way better than him. And I thought at first she was just saying that because I'm her son, but every time I watch one of his videos and my kids watch his videos, she be like, oh, turn him off. He do too much, and I'm just like, you feel me? Like <laughs> you feel that? Like that? What I'm saying? Like it's real deal talent over here. But, I don't know, man. I don't understand it, but I'm done talking. Because um, this video is already too long. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell. Follow me on my Instagrams. TikTok, Snapchat. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.